To get started with the new Alevi Bioprint online software, go to bioprint.alevi3d.com. If you have an online account, you can log in. If not, you can create one using the link below. After signing in, you're brought to your printer list. Here, you can see all the bioprinters that are connected to your account. The list displays name and serial numbers, along with a connection icon that shows which printers are online. Let's work with the Alevi 3. To start printing, just select a printer and click Connect. This will bring you to your printer dashboard. From here, you can get an overview of your printer's settings or start a print. The status section offers an overview of your printer's settings. This shows you the printer's status along with readings for each extruder. The current print section lets you either upload and print a G-code file or slice and print an STL. When slicing an STL, you have options such as scale, layer height, print speed, and travel speed. In the build plate section, choose the dish that you'll be printing with. Today, we'll be using a Petri dish. However, we also have the standard well plate options. We include the manufacturer and model to show which plates we've used and tested. The extruder section allows you to calibrate each extruder with either auto calibration or manual calibration. If you're manually calibrating or just want to move the extruders around, expand the directional pad. For manual calibration, be sure to click Set Calibration once you're done. This is also where you set temperature and pressure for each extruder. You can also test extrusion by clicking and holding the extrude button. In crosslinking, you can set intensity and frequency for during and after print crosslinking. The Alevi 1, 3, and 6 bioprinters offer both visible and UV crosslinking. The advanced section allows for you to manually send the printer G-code commands. This should only be used by G-code experts, as you may accidentally damage your printer. For quick navigation, you can click the section icons up top. Once you're ready, click print and start bioprinting. 